Today, we dive into the fascinating story of an AI that learns how to conquer the notorious Dark Souls 3 game with reinforcement learning. But before we dive into the story, let's briefly remind what reinforcement learning is all about. Reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning where an agent learns to make decisions by interacting with an environment. The agent takes action in an environment to achieve a goal, receiving feedback in the form of rewards or penalties. It's a learning strategy that's used to train AIs like the one we are discussing today. So now, let's dive into our main story. Dark Souls 3 is known for its extremely challenging gameplay, and the bosses are no exception. Now, imagine training an AI to defeat them using deep reinforcement learning, that's exactly what the creator of Souls Gym and Souls AI has accomplished. I was following Reddit machine learning when a post grabbed my attention. Someone created Souls Gym, an OpenAI gym extension allowing reinforcement learning agent to train on Dark Souls 3 bosses. You might wonder how those AI gameplaying agent works. Well, they are built using a simulator, which is often called an environment in reinforcement learning. One popular type of those simulators is the OpenAI gym which provides a standardized interface to a variety of environments. You might have discovered OpenAI recently through ChatGPT, Whisper or DALI, but they are quite involved in reinforcement learning too. The environment, like a video game world, provides the agent with observations and rewards and accepts actions that affect the state of the game. If you like this AI journey through Dark Souls, make sure to subscribe and join the community. Now, let's get back to it. South Gym acts as a game hacking layer that turns Dark Souls 3 into a gym environment, controlled with Python. Most game-playing AI projects use raw pixels from the game as input to the AI, which requires significant processing and can be computationally intensive. South Gym, however, uses the in-game memory state. This approach involves reading into the game memory to capture the state of the game. It allows the AI to bypass the need for interpreting the raw pixels and work with more streamlined and accessible data. Training an AI to defeat Dark Souls 3 bosses is not an easy task. First of all, Souls Gym is not a traditional environment. You need to own a copy of the game on Steam and it runs it directly. It's a hacking layer that allows you to control the game with Python script. So unfortunately, you can't really speed up the game contrary to other environments where you can accelerate to collect a lot of data in a short amount of time. It's a challenge because reinforcement learning usually requires tons of interaction with the world to converge to a good solution. To collect data faster and navigate this challenge, the author had to design a distributed framework that could run multiple game instances at once. But it introduces new problems. When running multiple AI agents in a distributed manner, Crashes and other instabilities, even though infrequent, can occur during those extended training periods. And here I mean multiple days. It's a critical problem, since you can use valuable training data. That's where Souls AI comes in. Souls AI is a resilient and distributed deep learning framework that enables monitoring the training process via a web server. It's designed to be resilient to client disconnect and crashes, ensuring that the valuable training process can continue uninterrupted for several days. Souls AI has implemented two reinforcement learning algorithms, deep queue learning and proximal policy optimization. Now, you might wonder what's the difference between the two. I won't go into too many details, but in the context of reinforcement learning, there are synchronous and asynchronous algorithms, and it refers to how we update the policy of the network. Roughly speaking, a policy is a strategy or set of rules that an agent follows to make decisions in an environment. Proximal policy optimization is a synchronous algorithm that waits for all the workers to finish their tasks before updating the policy. On the other hand, deep queue learning here implemented asynchronously updates the policy whenever a worker completes its task. While asynchronous methods can be faster and more efficient, since they do not require waiting for all the workers, they may introduce instability in the training process because the updates can be performed with stale information. By implementing those two algorithms and using Redis as a communication backend, Souls AI can send training samples from worker clients to a centralized training server. It can then broadcast model updates from the server to all clients. It gives the creator the ability to balance between the efficiency of asynchronous methods and the stability of the synchronous ones. After a few days of training, the creator managed to train an agent that managed to beat the first boss, Ludex Gundir, with a win rate of 45%. It is definitely an incredible achievement that required 
tons of work from the creator. So don't hesitate to start the repository Souls Gym and Souls AI on GitHub. And if you feel adventurous, you can even extend the support to additional boss in the game, or even new games like Elden Ring. But we are not done yet. I have another video showing you how to turn any website into a powerful chatbot with AI. It teaches you all you need to know to build your own AI-powered applications. And who knows, build a side hustle in this new AI era. So be sure to check it out. See you in the next one.